What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cold Cut Truth, man. We outside. We in Orlando right now. You know, we keeping this shit on the move. I got a special guest with me. Cruising with Prince, what's going on, my boy? What's going on, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, bro. I appreciate you linking up with me real quick, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just to do the little interview with us, you know, chop it up with us. How you yeah. feeling, though, man? Man, I've been watching y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all doing y'all thing on there, man. Taking over Instagram, YouTube, man. I like it. To see the transition from the music to your podcast. Yeah. Keep pushing, keep going, man. Big ups, man. I had to come support the channel. Man, that's love, bro. That's love. Yeah, this is a guy I've definitely been tapped in, just watching his shit for a couple years now. Uh, really just fucking with his content. You know, entertaining ass motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? He, yeah. you know, he's doing his thing in the cruising, you know, world and even beyond that. We're going to talk yeah. about it, bro. Yeah, yeah. But uh, here at the Coca Cut True, bro, we just like to spread motivation through conversation. You know what For I mean, sure. bro? So I can fuck with that. It's like you just sitting down with the homies, you just chilling. You know, we want to, we would definitely want to hear about your story. That's also what we do on here. We get dope stories. I feel like you got a dope story. So let's get into it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Where you from, dog? All right, man. We out here in Orlando right now. I'm an Orlandoian, a Floridian, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really from Chirac. I'm from Chicago, Southside, you know what I'm saying? I just moved out here yesterday permanently. I've been dreaming and talking about this shit for like the last 10 years. Every year, I'm going to go to Miami this year. Next year, I'm going to go to Miami. I'm going to go to Florida. I'm going to go to Orlando. I'm going to live out in Florida. Man, now, you know, things been up and up on 2023. Now we here in 2024. Yesterday was my first day. I'm finna tear this motherfucker up. You know what I'm for the oh, Chicago God. way. You know? The Chicago way, man. Yeah. So for the people, before we get into anything that you got going on now, bro, we just want to know, like, what were you into? Like, what was your upbringing like? Like, as a kid, adolescent, teenage years, high school, like, what were you into? Sports, music, like, what what were you doing as a, as a younger adult? Uh, I wasn't into none of that shit. I was in the smoking weed, <laughs> going to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never went to motherfucking school. I used to go to school just to go get my weed and leave that motherfucker, man. Right. I didn't like school until I got kicked out that motherfucker. You know, uh, it's been rough, you know what I'm saying, uh, as far as like living on the streets and being around certain environments and things of that nature. Yeah. But uh, growing up, I'm the only child, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So. I ain't had to share shit with nobody. Got My OG was straight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no father in the household, you feel me? But you can't control who outside when you go outside, you know? So right. as far as my household, it was stable, but you know, outside is outside. Chicago right. is Chicago, you know? Yeah, and it's it's just life, bro. That's, that's yeah. bro, you had to grow up by yourself, basically. So how was that, yeah. you know, kind of like, you say you didn't have really a father figure, so. You know, how was that growing up by yourself? Were you around other people that maybe filled that void? Or, you know, how did it go? Well, that's how I go. That's how most people join gangs and shit like that. With no father figure, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no older male that's going to teach them the game and run with the game, you know? So you kind of just get clicked up from the beginning. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, in Chicago, we got a super gang problem. Everybody gang banging. If right. you yeah. from this hood, you, you GD. If you from that hood, you BD. You know what I'm saying? Foes. Mickey Coles, Vice Lords, Solid Foes, all kind of gangs, all kind of Mexican gangs too, you know what I'm saying? All running through the city, so yeah. like, uh, you you clicked up with where you came from. Right, it's just like your circumstances where you, you know, it's basically what you were born into type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, and then the streets become your brother and sister. Yeah. For me. Right. You know, cause I was the only child, so that's how that shit worked out. You know what I mean? Okay, so you're in the streets, you know, I'm sure you're doing your thing. You're starting to get a little money here and there. Yeah. At what point does it switch up, though? Because you're not on that no more. You know what I'm saying? So at what oh, point, no. you know, how long did that kind of go on to and you realize, like, something flipped in your head? No, okay, so uh, we got we can't starve from right now. We got to go back a little bit. Go back. Like, we can't starve from right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I never gave a fuck about school, bro. Right. Until I got kicked out of school, bro. Okay. Then you start appreciating shit once you lose it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I saw how important it was. I looked around me. I see this person got a felony, this person going in and out of jail, this Talk and that, it, you yeah. know. And I'm all about growth and development. So mm. uh, I, I got my GED. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I went back to college. Uh, I got my uh, bachelor's in criminal justice. Fire. Uh, I got my master's degree recently. Congrats. Mental health, clinical mental health. I'm a fucking therapist right now. Don't judge me. This I'm a character, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm a character, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, when it's time to get professional, I can hit that switch. You know, but uh, 
before that, you know, I always believed in music and, and doing videos. So that's what you were like into, that. the music yeah, shit. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you but were the, going harder with that. Yeah, then age happened. Right. And life happened. No, no, I'm not saying with life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hip-hop is a young man's sport. Okay. Talk about it. Why, why you say that? I mean, you never too old to start creating music. Uh, to stop creating music, you yeah. feel me? But I feel like uh, to get in, in, you got to be a teenager or a damn near under 25, 26. Yeah. Or else you kind of do the shit for a hobby, and that's cool. Right. You know, it's expensive as hobby at that. Right. Yeah. You got to cross your fingers that something work. Because it ain't guaranteed that something going to work. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that shit is. Like, I got a question for you. Give me one rapper that got signed over 30. One rapper that got signed over 30. <laughs> I don't know one. Off the top of my head, I don't know one. Over 30? I'm thinking of niggas like maybe like Riff Rap or something. How old was Riff Rap when he got signed? I don't even know. That <laughs> nigga still doing music? <laughs> I don't know what he on, but nah, I feel you though. As being older. It definitely brings the percentage of you know you being able to pop as an artist. Or yeah, it's definitely lower when you're when you're older. And you can do it. It can be done, but a lot it of people can be don't done, understand. But it's just very, very, very slim. Now let's think about people like Master P. Let's think about people like Baby. Right? They started in the game with drug money. Drug money. They had the front money. Yep. See, people be running to record labels with nothing, saying, "Do something for me." You know, but when you got the money and you can't be the record label, that's when shit start popping. Now, if you got a hundred thousand dollars to blow completely on the progression of your music, you got a higher percentage. But if you just trying to make a dope song that you think is going to go viral and you of age and you don't got this look and that all that, man, that shit more like a hobby game. And uh, ain't nothing wrong with that game. Music is therapeutic. Music is therapeutic, but I definitely feel that. Talk about that. I definitely like agree. Like nowadays, I feel like people bank on the fact that oh, if I make a song and just post it on TikTok a couple times, I'm a, I'm gonna go crazy. If I post it on Instagram a couple times, I'm gonna go crazy. You know, not thinking of man, maybe I should be in these streets, really like performing at these venues, really shaking hands, really networking, really meeting these DJs, really spinning spinning these records. You know what I mean? Like definitely, it's it's a it's a whole different like time. So talk about that. Just like people who are in that state of mind. Well, uh, once again, you got to have a bag. If you ain't got the bag, see, you want to go get your shit played by the DJ, right? You just trying to get a favor from him. Once again, we talking about somebody that's got nothing that wants something. Now, if I go to the DJ, like, look, here's a thousand dollars. I need you to play this record three times uh, before the club is over with. Here go a thousand. He gonna take that thousand and play your fucking record, and it's up to the dance floor to see how they gonna vibe with your shit. It ain't the DJ that gets you hot. You know what I'm saying? I don't learn so much in this shit now. If I can go all the way back and keep this information right now, I'd probably be, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about how deep is your pockets is. Facts. If you got some deep pockets, you can make shit happen. You can call up D-Gangs. Who is D-Gangs? Nigga that be shooting Chief Keep videos, they got him lit. Call up somebody that maybe want $20,000 for a video. You think at $20,000 for a video, Man, I'm ready to get my own camera and do my own shit. No, that's how much that shit is. And you got to get, and you putting yourself in different pots. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, uh, people that's a, of a higher echelon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, even, not to stress this out, but even when it comes to local people in your city that got a buzz, reaching out to them, DM, DMing them, yeah, uh, I got 3000 for a future, for a feature. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if they independent, you know, uh, do it. But if, if they only got a deal, y'all got to recognize these rappers would be like, all right, 20000 for a uh, verse. Then you got to turn around and pay the label just to get it clear. So be careful who y'all is giving y'all money out there too because yeah. you will be paying double and shit. But yeah, always be thinking you got to have some money to, to promote yourself. Facts. You got to have a bag behind you. But let's reel it back in, man. So yeah, bro, that, we're into the music now. You're doing your thing with the music. Um, you know, at some point, like, what? When do you get into videos? Like, when does that come about? You know, like, you're doing your music, right? You're, you're dropping. You're still doing music, by the way. He's not done doing music. Make sure y'all tap in, by the way, to yeah, pay, right. check out all his right. his new videos. He's just switching it up. He yeah. he switched up the formula a little bit. You know what I mean? But yeah. um, 
Yeah, so when does the videos come into play, bro? What videos? You talking about like YouTube. Cruising with Prince? Cruising with Prince. Okay, so uh yeah, man. Uh, I knew that I always had the entertainment, the glow for this shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, sometimes you just got to let go. So I had to let go of the music and, and grip on to blogging and uh, becoming a part of like a, a podcast on YouTube. You hear me? And uh, I had to do, I knew I had to do it about something that I was passionate about. You know what I mean? And I was always taking cruises. I was always taking trips. I was always going out the country. What was your first cruise? Oh, man, my first cruise, I was 13 years old on uh, the ops ship. Who was the ops? Carnival was the ops. We'll get to that later. We'll get you know to what I'm that saying? Event. Yeah, but uh, I went, my first cruise was, I was 13 years old and I had a big ass camcorder. This motherfucker was about this big, bro. And I was blogging back then at 13 before I even knew what the fuck YouTube was. So I had to start thinking. And then I went on, I went on one uh, when I was 15 on World Caribbean. I was blogging and doing this. I'm talking about 1996. Nigga. You were doing this as a kid already. Right? As a kid, not even knowing shit about the internet, YouTube, nothing. Let's th let's pause right where we're at right now because, bro, that's also my background, bro. When I was yeah. when I was younger, bro, when, when my parents had a camera, just like you said, big ass camera laying around, yeah. put that shit like on the side of my bed, was making yeah. little dumbass videos. Yeah. If you go on YouTube, y'all already know y'all can search on my shit, but it's embarrassing, but. Yeah, like I, I definitely had a, a video, like entertainment background. I used to make little skits, little like parodies. You know how it is back in the day, and and yeah, bro, that that's definitely something that I had too. So you had that back in the day, and then what comes next? Look, homie, sometimes we overlook that shit. Like, look how if you got that back in the day, right? And then you started doing music and shit, right? Yeah, because I stopped doing that. I was doing some other shit. Now. Right, you want to do music and shit. Right. But what was your first passion? Yeah. You know how we see how we just overlook that shit? That's why it's so easy to do this shit now. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to uh, blogging and uh, just giving cruise tips out. So that's what we're doing, man. Cruising with Prince right now. We almost at 10,000 subscribers. We got, make sure y'all go to Cruising with Prince and go subscribe. And we also got another channel called Cruising with Prince World. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do tips. I do music videos for the cruise lines. So I got three music videos with Carnival, AKA the Ops. Uh, I got two music videos with World Caribbean. I got one music video that's getting ready to come out with Margarita of the Seas. Uh, Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville. Um, I got one with Virgin. You know, so I'm definitely in my own lane when it comes to cruise blogging. You feel me? And I'm yeah. one of a kind and shit. And I'm different. And I got more attention doing this than doing that. Isn't that crazy, bro? I was just telling you earlier, bro. He was telling me, yo, I seen you doing a podcast shit. How's it going for you? I told him, Man, ever you know, this year we really, really started going crazy with it, and like it put me in different rooms that I ain't never been in, gave me different opportunities, unlocked different doors for me. So it's like, you know, I told him, I'm like, man, I'm just, I'm just following it, man, seeing where it takes me, you know. So yeah, so the, the, you start doing the cruise and stuff. Oh, well. my, my bad, I don't want to cut you off. You we good, go. Bro? See y'all later, live. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Y'all gotta come. Y'all gotta come check out the original video when it's all the way the fuck done and it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap in right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap in. Clip. See y'all. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. We just had to end the live, man. Make sure y'all follow my boy, by the way, at Cruising with Prince. You know what I'm saying? Tap into everything he got going on. But, uh, yeah, so we back. So so you were doing the music. You, you've always done the music, but at some point, you also started to do YouTube, started to do cruising, started to do traveling vlogs and stuff like that. So talk about that. Uh, you know, how long ago did that happen? You know, maybe like... What was the circumstances around it? How did you come to that? Like, man, did you just wake up? Like, man, I'm about to start doing this. Or how did it come about? No, man, uh, I got to give uh, props to when props is deserved, man. I used to watch this guy. Called, his name is uh, Don's Family Vacations. And it's an old guy, you know what I'm saying? And he give out cruise tips and stuff. And then I started seeing other people doing it as well, you know, giving out tips, uh, blogging on cruises. And then I thought like, well, shit, I, I can do that. And I can do it for the hip hop urban version, the hip hop urban version. And I got a passion about this shit. So it's going to be easy. I don't been over 35 cruises. Easy, you know? So uh, what better game do you got from, from with a track record like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's, it's easy to tell people how to move on their cruises and make sure they have the best cruise, flight, and vacation that they possibly can. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, and it started working for me, bro. I'm selling merch, cruising with Prince t-shirts. I'm shipping shit off to Portugal. 
So you seen different shit as well with the cruising shit. You like, man, I ain't seen this before. Yeah, man, hell yeah, man. I know it got real. Check it out, it got real for me. When I start going on cruises and be like, I, I know you. Yeah. I watch your videos all the time. Right. And three motherfucking four, five motherfuckers do it on this cruise. You go on the next cruise, seven people do it then. They buy your shirts That's hard. from all over the place. That's love, bro. That's love. We got rum runners out here too. You know what I'm saying? We teach y'all how to sneak that liquor on that motherfucker. Uh, yeah, we got smear proof. Hey, pops. so talk about it. What kind of content do you make, bro? Let them know. Bro. So, so get on the YouTube, search him up. What do you do on YouTube, bro? What did you used to do on YouTube? Cause you don't do this much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I really got real. I was doing my tips, regular tips, and then I started telling motherfuckers how to bring that 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 Bob Marley on the cruise ship. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And my videos took off. You hear me? They took off. Gotcha. Fast as shit. Yeah. How uh, long ago was this? Okay, so I've been on YouTube for like three years. Okay, so you know three what I'm years saying? ago you start posting tips and how to how to sneak some weed on the ship, yeah. some rum on the ship, and you start going crazy. 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000, 120,000, 130. <laughs> I'm like, damn, right? Yeah. And I'm getting the, the comments, 500, 600 comments, right? So I'm freely putting this shit on the internet. Yeah. And people eating it up. You know, so they fucking with me and they subscribing to the page because when you can give somebody some value, they'll come back and fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So as yeah. long as you can push out value, something that some niggas can learn about. Yeah. They, gonna, they can take away as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, so they fuck with me, uh, you know, because of the weed videos. Yeah. And then somebody snitched on me, bro. Yeah. So what happened? Through, through the internet, bro. What and happened? this is the problem. This is why I call Carnival the fucking ops, you know? Uh, Why is Carnival the Ops? Tell us, bro. Look, bro, I never... Lately, in 2023, people been getting their ass kicked off cruise ships for bringing weed on cruise ships. Uh, from the islands, from the port, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Trying to smoke it and don't know how to smoke it, don't know where to smoke it. <laughs> you know, just acting a fool out there on them cruise ships. They smoking on the Lido decks. Uh, they smoking goddamn it in their rooms and all type of shit like that. You know, uh... So I was teaching niggas the right way, homie, how to how, how to do shit, find secret decks and all that type of well, shit. Well, he was giving them tips, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was one of the viewers, like, oh, appreciate that, my nigga. Yeah, name. yeah, yeah. And I would point people out when they be fucking up the game, just smoking in front of everybody and shit. That ain't the way you do it. Y'all make this. Well, I probably made this shit hot because of my videos. I ain't going to lie because now they got K9s at the ports. K9s at all the ports. You know what I'm saying? And this shit happened, like, after my kickoff. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I never got caught with anything. You know, um, right. All I got is these videos that I'm talking about. Yeah. So they how to do this? How to do that? That either you told people how to do it or that you actually did. Yourself. Oh yeah, they might have seen it in like a music video. Right. So I got kicked off. Didn't get caught. Nothing, bro. From YouTube, bro. They kicked me off from YouTube, bro. John Hell, fuck you, John Hell. I'm talking about the motherfucking. Uh, what they call that? CEO? No, he ain't no fucking CEO. He the fucking, um, I forget what this fucking fat punk name is. Uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying? He like a representative of the ops. You know what I'm saying? When the shit clicks to me, I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he, he pulls strings. He pulls strings. He like a spokesman, uh, uh, a public media. You know what I'm saying? So somebody sent him the video. And he was like, oh, no, we can't have this. Two, three days later, I get a, a, a note from a piece of mail from Carnival. Yeah. And it's flat as hell. It's just one piece of paper. I, when I see <laughs> it, I'm like, I know what this is already, bro. Oh, I, I open it up. You can no longer, you are banned for life. You can no longer get on our ships. And this is the fucked up part, right? I got 156 days Damn. on Carnival. You understand what I'm saying? 156 days. I was, uh, what, uh, 44 the fuck away from being 200 platinum. I mean, diamond, excuse me. If I would have turned diamond, I would have just went to another ship any fucking way. Yeah. You know? It wasn't just carnival, carnival. I was just trying to reach a goal and I was almost there. And they kicked me the fuck off the ship. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Off YouTube. But, bro, that's part of your story, though. Everybody goes through shit for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That's, man, now you're on different cruise lines. Now now you're yeah. fucking with different cruise lines, doing different music on those cruise lines. You never know, bro. Like, the way, the path you're going, you never know what could happen, bro. Now you're fucking with everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. So since then, since I left, I uh, went to Royal Caribbean uh, twice. Uh, I've been on uh, Margaritaville. 
uh, twice. I went on Virgin, you know, so, uh, and I'm going on MSC in four days. If, if the camera could see my luggage, I'm packing my shit up right now. I'm getting ready to go to motherfucking MSC for the first time. So yeah, we switching up the cruise lines and, and uh, yeah, it's more than the ops out there. What's your favorite cruise line and why? This finna blow your mind, homie. You ready? Go ahead. What you think I'm gonna say? I can't be the ops. <laughs> so, I don't know. Tell me. It's the ops. Really? <laughs> oh, I hate the ops, but it's, it's fuck the ops, but I like the ops. It's just some crazy this. shit, bro. I will say this Carnival, bro, got better food than Royal. Facts. Carnival got better food than Royal. I don't know about that one. Man, that's my opinion, bro. AK Chris stamping that. Ah. Carnival got better food than Royal. Facts. They got, hold on, let's talk. No, 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 let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. They got the motherfucking uh, guys burgers. They got the motherfucking uh, the the grill, the the you know the, the Mexican joint, right? They got the sandwich spot is underrated on Carnival. Go to the little deli inside the little uh, the, the the fucking buffet. Go to the deli. Them deli joints go crazy. <laughs> and the buffet is way higher quality than the fucking Windjammer. And I love Royal shits. Royal got better shits. Carnival got better food. Though none of them motherfuckers put salt on none of that food. <laughs> First of all, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit be bland. But let me say this. Okay, okay, homie, you right. You know, uh, Carnival got some good food, but... Good food. I'm going to just say this. Royal got more options when it comes to that. You know, but... Let me tell you something. The reason why I say I like the ops, the best, it's not what you think, bro. It's not the boat. It's not the food. Right. Uh, it's the vibe. It's the fucking vibe. And that's fine. Vibe. That's what it is, and, and, and when you start venturing off into these other cruise lines like I have, you will see that that vibe is missing. It might be a better boat, it might be bigger, it might look fancy and updated and more new. Carnival might not have it all that way there, you know, like yeah. the rest of these other ships do. But you know what they got? What? It's the soul boat. That motherfucker, the soul boat. Yeah. That shit feel like a backyard reunion when you in that motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what, bro? I just want to part here too, because I forgot to say this earlier when you were talking about what you do on YouTube. I think the reason why people fuck with your shit on YouTube, whether it was the tips, whether it was the, the vlogs, you know, the lucky vlogs and all that, bro, it's really because with you, it's more authentic. Like, when you talking about Don earlier, you talking about some of the, you start talking about some of these other guys in that cruising YouTube space. Man, with Cruising with Prince, you get a straight up, like, you know, like, this is what it is. I'm coming exactly how I'm coming every time. Hey, you know what I mean? Can I speak on that, homie? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Check this out, right? Need another drink, bro. You, yo, I got my brother behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you can refill me up. Brian, yeah, shout out Brian in the motherfucking yeah, spot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, talk about that, bro. Um, um, um. I forgot what the Just fuck like we talking about. Your, your <laughs> shit is authentic, bro. Your shit is All right, yeah, yeah. People fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, I remember now. I remember now. Uh, uh, I want, I want the uh, tequila. I'm a tequila motherfucker. Uh, yeah, one more time, homie. Yeah, so your shit is authentic, and that's why people fuck with it, bro. You know, they what you see on Cruising with Prince is what you get every single time. Just a straight up, real ass motherfucker. Yeah. So talk about okay. you know that you know why people fuck with you in that regard. And, and, and that's and that's the truth, bro. And let me tell you like this, bro. It feel good to be in this lane, and nobody else is like this. Right. Nobody else. Facts. Everybody's all political, all nice and tight. If you was to do this right now, you would be copying my whole shit. And people would automatically fucking know it. He is kind of the originator of this lane. I'm doing music videos for the cruise lines. I got the cruise lines, the promoters on my fucking DMs, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping it 100. I'm making the youth want to travel. It's little niggas that ain't never left the motherfucking hood. And I can talk like this, gang. You understand what I'm saying? It's motherfuckers that ain't never left the hood. They ain't never been off their motherfucking block. You understand what I'm telling you? So when they see a young motherfucker uh, doing his thing, when they see me out there shooting these music videos, they see me out there, uh, Prince Lucky, they see me in the hood. Boy, I just seen you on Instagram, boy. You out there acting a fool. That shit motivate motherfuckers. That shit motivate the youth. That shit motivate motherfuckers that look like me. I want people to go out and travel and, and you know, who never even thought that they can even fathom this shit. I used to take home niggas from my hood. They ain't never been nowhere. They never been out of the fucking state. And, and I don't flew these niggas out, homie, to L.A. 
Now we in Cabo San Lucas. We in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. They seeing waterfalls for the first time. Right. Homie, I got motherfucking 45 seasons of Lucky Blog on YouTube right now. You can watch 45 cruises of mine right the fuck right now. You understand what I'm telling you? I be taking my niggas out the hood, bro. That ain't never did shit, bro. So I, I, I not only motivate my hood, I motivate niggas that want to travel and yeah. get out and, and want to go do different shit. In that, in that, you know, like capa uh, capacity, like you know, where people like feel motivated from your shit. How does it feel like to be able to influence or motivate motherfuckers, bro? Uh, yeah, it's always been easy, man. I can always reach the youth. You know what I'm saying? Let's rewind a little bit, right? So, uh, check it out, homie. I, 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 I get my, my bachelor's degree, yeah. right? In criminal justice, you know what my first job was? What? I worked at a residential home for people in DCFS and niggas who mama and daddy doesn't want them no more or they got lost off in the system and they couldn't go nowhere. Okay, that's mercy. You know? Yeah. So, I, I've been working with shorties for, for a long fucking time, you know, and feeling they pain and seeing what they going through. So I always been able to adapt to the shorties. And plus the shorties look up to us. Cause if I made it through the shit yeah. and I can tell you my story, uh, you, you, you probably can get a some more hope out of this shit, even though you in the situation that you in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I always been able to grab the youth, bro. Right. You feel me? And uh, and, and 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 that's what make this shit easy, bro. Life, man, it's each one teach each one. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like whatever yeah. you know, teach the next person, man. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I don't want to work with no grown motherfuckers. <laughs> grown motherfuckers, they already done figured out. Once you turn eighteen and shit, you feel like you don't got it all the fuck together. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell a motherfucker, but I can talk to that little nigga that's thirteen. I can talk to that little nigga that's 12. I can talk to that little nigga that's 14, 15, that's looking at the wrong shit for influence, who feel like they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Their mama doing drugs, their mama out in the street, they ain't eating. I can talk to that little nigga and hopefully give him a little light. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so I've always been able to inspire uh, with the youth. So I, I move towards working with the kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why it's easy to do this YouTube shit because I work with the youth on this. Right. No, that's hard, bro. Talk about that a little bit too. Like, you know, a lot of people are into music and, you know, that's all, all they want to do or all they can see themselves doing at that time or whatever. Some people are into other things that they put all their energy into. Uh, talk about how, like, you, the music, you're doing cruising, you know, videos on YouTube, you're doing YouTube. But you're also getting your bachelor's degree. You're also getting your master's degree. You're also making sure you're good for you and your family. You know what I mean? So talk about that as well, where, you know, some people, they overlook that part. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that bullshit that they tell you. Uh, 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 keep doing it, little Timmy. Little Timmy, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but you got to have a plan B, bro. Yeah, I want to be an artist. I want to drop music videos. Who going who gonna to fund that? Who going to fund your music videos besides you? Who believe in yourself more than you should? A small percentage of people get people to like invest in them. Who you pay? To invest in your who who going to pay for your studio time? Right. Who going to pay for that music video? Who going to pay for the outfit that you wear? Yep. You got to be able to invest in yourself. So I hate it when I hear motherfuckers say, uh, you don't need no job. I hate that shit, homie. That's the, if, if, if an older nigga telling a motherfucker that, bruh, who telling him, don't focus on nothing else, just focus on this, nah, music got to be the side shit, bruh, because you will get lost in the sauce, bruh, you feel me, you will, you will look up, you will be 20 years old, I'm going to be a rapper, I feel it, I yeah. feel it, and you keep thinking like that, like, I don't got to do nothing else, uh, you look up, you be 30 years old. Yeah, I'm you be 25 now, bro, and that's something I had to realize, too. Like, yo, make sure you set something else up. Because we to. getting we get into that age where we should be able to say, man, I did this, this, and this. And if you can't, man, you kind of behind. Stay in school, y'all. Fuck what they talking about, about that you don't need school shit. Hey, once you got that piece of paper, you can do whatever the fuck you want to, bro. I can go anywhere in these fucking states and go get a fucking job right now just based off my credentials. You understand? Don't believe that bullshit they sell you. You know what I'm saying? They'll fuck some student loans. We ain't paying their ass back nothing any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God Stay man. in school, nigga. Hey, fuck them. Get your credentials. Get that diploma, little nigga. 
fuck what they telling you. You want to do uh, social media, you want to do blogging, you want to do entertainment, who going to fund your little ass? You understand? So be able to uh, support yourself, chase your dreams while still doing some positive shit that's going to that's gonna, uh, get you straight, man, just in case that, that shit don't work out. You know? Let's get back into it, bro. Let's touch on a couple cruise topics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's start light, bro. What's your favorite destination? Or not, let's do top three destinations you've been to cruising. Um, Belize would have to be in there. Belize? Yeah, I like Belize. What cruise did you go to Belize on? Uh, I don't know. I don't been on too many. I can't okay. name All right. Yeah. Belize? Uh, Belize is cool. Um, shit, that's a hard question. I don't been so many places, bro. Yeah. Um, I feel that. I feel that. If you want to think, I can say mine, then. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fucking, uh, hey, let's start right here. St. Thomas. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. St. Thomas is beautiful. St. Martin had the best beach I ever been to. The new beach? You want yeah, the new beach? yeah, that beach was amazing. <laughs> so, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and then Jamaica. I love Jamaica, bro. Love Jamaica. Those are my top three. Uh, goddamn, uh, shit, man. Belize, Cosmel, Mexico. You like Cosmel? Yeah, yeah, I like Cosmel. I can go there back and forth. Okay. Um, One more. Um, Belize, Cozumel. Yeah, I guess I gotta say Jamaica. I don't Jamaica. know if it's Ocean, Ocean Rios or uh, Ocho Rios? Montego Bay. But, oh, yeah, that's right. Mine is Montego Bay. Barbados. Uh, Barbados? Okay. Hey, let's talk about private islands. Who got the best private island, bro? Uh, right now, uh, it looked like Coco K with Royal Caribbean. Facts. Uh, but but I'm hearing the richest uh, private island is MSC. They they got they spent the most money on that. Private yeah. Island, Ocean K. And I've never been there, so I'm getting ready to go there in a couple of days. Okay. I'm gonna report on it. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. So we talked about private islands. Who? Uh, how do you feel about Nassau? <laughs> let's talk about that. How do you feel about Nassau, bro? The fucking spaceship? No, no, Nassau, the, the, the island. Oh, Nassau? I'm, you know I'm fucking good. I thought this nigga said Nassau for a No, no, Nassau, <laughs> whatever, however you say it, bro. Oh, hell no. Nassau, I don't like Nassau. Nassau is dirty as fuck. <laughs> and them people out there are dirty as fuck, man. Y'all dirty ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bahamians, I don't know what to call y'all motherfuckers, man. A nigga, uh, I tried to buy some weed from a nigga uh, uh, out there. He For $10, he gave me a handful of tissue. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I catch you again and whoop your motherfucking ass. Go say, but no, I don't like Nassau. I don't fuck with Nassau. You don't like Nassau? Yeah, I, I feel like Nassau, Nassau is over. Bro, you go there on every damn, the cheapest cruises that you can find, they all go there. You know what I mean? I don't like Freeport neither. Oh, nah, Freeport. Yeah, I ain't been there in so long, but I don't like Freeport either. I don't like the motherfucking Bahamas. Yeah, the Bahamas is kind of weak, right? Mm, it's just weak. It's just kind of weak. Uh, where's the easiest place? Nah, not the easiest place. Where's the best weed that you found? What island did you find the best weed on? Belize. Belize. How much did they tax you? Icky, icky. Ooh, weed. How much? Put it in there. Yeah. How much was it? Because uh, you know the prices be crazy on these islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, when you go on most of these islands... Uh, and you get the right taxi person, you got to know that you're going to pay the a taxi fee. niggas. Oh, gonna, that's gonna, some game right there. They're going to know where to put you at. Okay. But uh, what you would pay for $20 out here, they want, they might want 30 And he going to yeah. take 10 and he going to get the dub yeah. and give it to you. Right. So it's, it's going to be a little. You're going to pay fees when you're out there on them islands, bro. So if they over taxing, you be looking at it like, damn, know that there's two people trying to eat. That ain't the person with the shit. Okay. <laughs> Bless you, man. Yeah. But anyway, man. Uh, okay, so let's let's get into some cruise stories, bro. Because I wanna, I, I'm gonna share one of mine. I wanna know some of your cruise stories, like maybe one of the, the craziest things or some dope that happened. You know, relate. I don't know. Just give us a cruise story, bro. All right, this is bad. Oh, you wanna give me? You want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Give me your story, I, I'm bro. I'm telling you, the liquor and the drugs, motherfuckers. <laughs> Stay off drugs, y'all. <laughs> now I don't do drugs. I just smoke weed. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, craziest story, man. I get, I give you one. Um, so I was in the club, right? Okay. Me, it was me, my girl. We on the op ship. Okay. We sitting at the bar. This Mexican girl just come over to the bar. What's she talking about? 
Man, she all over my girl. She's so pretty. Dude, who is this? Is, are you with him? She's so pretty. She ran one of my face and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? She, hold on, I, I started to get offended. I started to go off on that bitch. But I had to think about it like, wait a minute. Hold on. We might could do something with this shit right here. Okay. Because she, yeah, she was just too on it, right? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And me and my lady, we already been talking about the shit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she just all on it and shit. She was like, I want to I wanna leave with her, not you. I'm like, Scooby? <laughs> okay. Like, huh? What? The fuck are you talking about? No, uh -huh. bitch, you finna bend over and take this shit. The fuck you think you're doing? Now you being disrespectful. It's a package. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so she was with the shit. We like, yeah, I got some weed, got some weed. Let's go smoke. Let's get out of here. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we getting ready to walk out, uh, some guy that she was with, Pull her back, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying, like, uh, we tried to force her to do some shit. Right. You know, but she was like, no, come back to the club. He was like, come back in, in, to the dance floor and dance with us, because we was finna leave with Shorty. Okay. But then I get to thinking, though, this would make it crazy. This would make it a crazy story. Mm -hmm. Maybe he sent her over there to do that, to try to get some problem oh, with them shit. three. And when he sent the shit reverse, Oh, uh, he hurry up and start okay. to like, don't do nothing. Yeah, because you know, on them cruise ships, man, you know, some crazy shit be happening in the pineapples, all that shit. What's yeah. the crazy shit you either heard about? Pineapples on a cruise means you're a swinger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got it upside down, that means you're an active swinger that you're looking for somebody to fuck with. Yeah. Yeah, if you hang that shit up on your uh, doors or if you wear clothing like that, it's saying that you're a swinger. Yeah. One time, bro, I bought a fucking, uh, what's it called? Like a little Hawaiian shirt. Uh -huh. Motherfucker had pineapples on it, man. I didn't know, you feel me, that, what you said. And then people see me, like, you know, looking at me and shit. And somebody told me, like, oh, Yo, you know what the pineapples mean, right? I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Took that shit off. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so if you put a pineapple on your dough, oh, man. You might get a. <laughs> and it might be a couple, like, hey, can we come in? Oh, shit. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you heard about that happened on a cruise? Like, is there anything crazy you heard about something like that? Swingers, something related like that? Like orgies? Oh, Fucking man. some crazy shit, nah? The Virgin. You ever, you ever heard the Virgin cruise line? I heard about the Virgin. The all adults cruise? Hey, bro. That, you know who that cruise line is dedicated to? Who? The LBGTQ community. Okay. That is the craziest shit that I've seen on the cruise, bro. Word. That cruise is more overpopulated with LBGTQ than regular passengers. Yeah. That shit will, like, and I don't got nothing against them. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. Nothing against them. Period. But if you, if you go on a cruise, if you've been going on Carnival, Royal Caribbean, all these other cruise lines, and you get on Verge, as soon as you get on there, you're going to be like, <laughs> yeah, bro. The cruise workers don't even got the uh the cruise workers don't even have to put on uniforms. They put on what they want. Wow. Okay. So you got men walking around in thongs. Oh shit. And uh, it's not easy for Oh, out. so that's the type of shit you see on there. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's the craziest shit that I've seen on the cruise. Oh man. Okay. The version. And I know anybody who ever been on Virgin can attest to what, everything that I'm saying. I want you to put a 100 in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, man. Um, shit, bro. I, I'm going to share my story, bro. One of the craziest things I ever done on a cruise, bro. Uh, man, you know me, man. I, I'm always bringing a little bit of weed on there, you know, whether it's, you know, in my pants, whether it's, you know, through the suitcase, whatever it is, right? I always bring, sometimes, you know, I brought my shit. And one time, man, I remember... Uh, I was on a royal ship. Don't remember the ship. It might have been like a New Year's cruise. You know what I'm saying? Me and this dude, man, uh, I linked up with him. He was from like one of the islands or something. Cool ass nigga. You know, we kicking it. We about to go to this, uh, they call it a red party. You know the red party? Man, we about to pop out to the red party. You know? Wait, 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 wait. The virgin got the red party. Oh, my bad. The, uh, the red Oh, uh, white red party? Something. No, no, no. In the, in the royal, on the royal ships. You know how they turn the ice skating ring into the red? It's like a red party. Okay, something okay, like okay, that. Okay. So we go to that party. My nigga's like, hey, you got some weed on you? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. We trying to figure out where we're going to smoke it. You can't smoke it on the top deck where everybody at. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I'm, I start getting creative. I'm like, fuck it, man. Let's, get, let's just hot box the fucking bathroom, man. We turn on the shower all the way hot. You know what I'm saying? Small, little small joint, you know what I'm saying? Fire that bitch up in the bathroom. I had, um, at the time I had a vape and I had like the, the flavor. It was like a vanilla. I remember it was a bottle of vape juice. It was like vanilla and it smelled strong as shit. 
So we, we hot boxed the shit, you know what I'm saying? Had the hot water on. I put the vanilla bottle in there open. Left it open so the scent could, you feel me? Go into the air. Everything was good, man. So, you know, nigga, hot box the bathroom on a cruise, bro. That's kind of the craziest shit I ever done, bro. No no, no security came or nothing? Nah. You no was good? security came. You uh, put a wet towel under the door? I had to, bro. Of course. Okay. You bro. have to, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You turned the sink on hot? Of course. Yeah, you everything the, hot. Everything you hot. You turned the, uh, the shower on everything all hot. hot? Everything hot, yeah. bro. Foggy? That shit was foggy as hell. And you can barely see the nigga right next to me. You know that, what I'm saying? That's how you move. You just don't go into the fucking bathroom and just spark up the J or the motherfucking Of course beat. not. Nah. That ain't how you do it. You know what I'm saying? You got to play by the rules, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that, that shit steamy as hell. You know what I'm saying? And really, if you want to take it back to the old method, smoke in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hey, if, you, if that's what you need to do, fuck it, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't see all kind of shit happen, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On these damn cruises, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nah, for sure, man. So, all right, man. So, Cruising with Prince, you know, you took off with the YouTube shit. What is next for you, bro? Like, you know, you've been going crazy doing the tips, doing the vlogs, 45 seasons of Lucky Blogs out there. Make sure y'all tap in. Um, i seen you've been elevating your content, though. You've been kind of growing into a more different, you know, Cruising with Prince. Talk about that a little bit, the transition recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so as far as the future with me, man, you, you can tell already what's going on. Like, uh, I just moved to Florida yesterday. Uh, the second day I'm here, we're doing interviews. So we hitting the ground running. Uh, I plan on going on more cruises. Uh, I plan on uh, taking the cruise game over. Not only on see on cruising with Prince, we real R rated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But on cruising with Prince World, it's kind of like PG-13. Gotcha. So we got to monetize because, you know, I'm not getting monetized. So yeah. you can follow me on Patreon. All those old videos that I used to have talking about how to do this and how to do that. And even the new ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to pay for that shit now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they don't fucking snitch on me and shit. So I had to move them fucking videos around. You know what I'm saying? But for the future, though, uh, you know, um, I'm also in school getting my PhD right now. If I ain't Word, that. respect, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. hard. I'm in my uh, third uh, semester of that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm elevating uh, through education. Uh, I'm elevating through cruising, uh, taking more cruises, shooting more cruise videos for different cruise lines. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you know, to clout them up and clout myself up too. Of course. Uh, just trying to be predominant in this fucking cruise world and make Cruising with Prince a household motherfucking name. Household so that's name. the future right there. Trying to make Cruising with Prince a household name Word. and education game. That's what's up, bro. Not for sure, bro. Hey, I always ask people on my on my podcast, bro, like, what keeps you going, bro? Like, okay, let's take it back a little bit again, right? You're doing the music, you know, you've been consistent at that from I don't even know how long, man. How long you been doing music? You want to know? For yeah, me? I'm gonna sing like a dinosaur. Okay. Uh, I've been doing the music since '95. Okay, you've been doing the music since '95, right? So, what keeps you going, bro? What keeps you going? Because a lot of times, bro, there's a lot of discouragement, bro. You might not see the results you want to see. You're not getting the support. You feel me? You're not going, you know, doing things as fast as you want to do them. What keeps you going? What has kept you going this whole time to, you know, stay down and just figure it out? Uh, it's therapeutic. I feel good after I do it. Uh, I, I don't think about all the uh, circumstances that's needed to uh, s somewhat look successful. Like, I don't give a fuck about age. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I found my own lane on with cruising. I still do music. I still go to the studio. I still record songs. Uh, I still got merch. I'm still selling out shirts. I still getting likes and comments when people come fuck with me. I can go live for five hours and I got the whole crowd shit still right there. Uh, yeah, the people uh, motivate me to keep doing this shit. Uh, Fast. Um, yeah, I gotta feed. I gotta feed my family, gang. I don't want to work. I don't want to go to work, bro. I don't want to work for nobody else, bro. That's the goal, right? Is to not have to work for somebody else at some point. That's what I'm trying to figure out at least. Cause right now, you know, I'm doing my thing too. I went to school, by the way, bro. I also got my bachelor's degree, you know what I'm saying? Got my little career going as far as like the IT shit. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what funds my lifestyle right now. But I'm trying to make this fund my lifestyle somehow, whether yeah. it's this, whether it's music, whether it's any, I've been into all types of entertainment for a long time. So whatever it is, I'm gonna figure it out. It don't matter, you know what I mean? Yeah, we gotta monetize off that, homie. Or to. else we doing this shit for nothing. Exactly, facts. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm close to 10,000. I know I can do way more. The reason I ain't flourished the way I supposed to because I'm too authentic, I'm too real. And I don't never want to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got another channel where I can get them that PG-13 shit and they can get another side of me and we can, you know, spread our wings further. But uh, I'm always going to be cruising with Prince. Uh, this is who I am. This is the real raw, uncut form. And I ain't going to stop uh, till I meet a dead nigga. I don't got to work for the white man no more. God damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we doing this oh God, shit. God, man. That's, that's, really, that's really the cold cut truth, man. Oh, God, bro. That's really what... Like I said, bro, we just bring people on here to tell their stories, spread motivation, shit like that. What's a piece of motivation that you would tell somebody right now if they're watching this? Fuck y'all adults. If you 18 and over, fuck you, nigga. I ain't got nothing to talk to you about. I want to talk to all the youth. If your ass is 17 and younger, I'm talking to you. You understand what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, stop emulating these motherfucking rappers. Stop trying to be like your favorite rapper. Uh, stop trying to be like the degenerates nigga in your goddamn neighborhood. Uh, try to seek for the best of yourself. Uh, stay motivated by positive people. Get positive people around you. Uh, change your friends up. Uh, don't fucking die out here in these streets. Try to make it to this motherfucking age. Because a lot of y'all niggas is not making it to 21. And let's, let's be 100 because y'all trying to be like y'all favorite rapper. Y'all trying to be something that the fuck y'all not. Try to be around positive people. Uh, watch your surroundings. Stay aware. Stay focused on your money. Stop buying stupid shit. Stop trying to look rich when you not fucking rich. You understand what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? Stop Nigga, trying to live a lifestyle you can't afford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't live over your means. Uh, keep your circle real small. Your friends will hurt you. New people will fucking hurt you, bro. A lot of niggas will hurt you, bro. Be careful who you let in your motherfucking circle, bro. I'm talking to the youth, bro. If your ass is 10 and up to 17, this message is for you. Stay in school, bro. Try to live without getting felonies, bro. Uh, and, 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 and make your mama proud, gang. Uh, and that's it, bro. Yeah, and that's it, bro. One last thing before we get up out of here, man. I see, bro, family is huge for you. Like, uh, just, you know, how, how important is family? You want to speak on that? Yeah, family, uh, my immediate family, everything to me. I got a lot. I got a big family. But only motherfuckers I care about is you, if your name ain't mama, my daughter, my son, or my wife. Uh, uh. Yeah, man, it's all it's all eyes. It's every man for themselves out this motherfucker, man. Sometimes water can be thicker than blood. I found that out. Do not be thinking blood thicker than water, gang. That is not what it is on front and grade. Yeah. That's not what it is, gang. Blood is not fucking thicker than water, gang. Understand that. A stranger will come fuck with you and show you more love than a motherfucker, uh, that you grew up with and jumped off bed from beds with and fought with and do all. Hey, a stranger show you some real love, gang. Uh, watch who you let in your circle before they hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck niggas. Keep that, keep that mentality. Fuck niggas. And uh, think about yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. They try to tell y'all ass, uh, you know, uh, think about this person. Think about no nigga. Think about yourself, nigga. You can't depend on nobody but you. At the end of the day, nigga, you can't depend on nobody but you. It ain't yeah. nobody else's responsibility but yep. you. Got shorty. So uh, while you a shorty, uh, make the right decisions. Cause the wrong. Cause I'm playing. Make the wrong. Make. Make the right decisions before you make the wrong decisions. Because the wrong decision will alter your whole fucking life. Once you get that that F on your name, <clears throat> you out of here, gang. Uh, and uh, we're not saying it's not over. It can't. We ain't saying it's over. But what I am saying is life gonna become much harder. Stop trying to be like your favorite rapper. Be yourself. Uh, fuck these niggas and fuck these bitches. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the uh, cold cut truth. That's the cold cut oh, truth, man. Hey, grave. Fuck I appreciate you for coming through, bro. <laughs> or I appreciate you for letting me come through, you know what I'm saying? And and, and hopping on here and talking to me real quick. Mm -hmm. um, just shout out 
where everybody can find you, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, check this out, man. I don't do Facebook because Facebook got too much drama and shit. Y'all ever notice with, when you go on Facebook and say, tell me what's on your mind. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what's on your mind. <laughs> so I don't fuck with Facebook, you know what I'm saying? But you can find me on Instagram at Cruising with Prince. You know what I'm saying? DM me. I respond back real fast. Order y'all shirts. Order y'all run runners for y'all crews. These shits will not get you caught. I can fill this whole thing up with a fifth of liquor and you will get on, nigga. Come fuck with me. AK uh, Chris approved. Yeah, yeah. Come get some cruising with Prince uh, goddamn pouches. These bitches thick as hell. These motherfuckers like leather. Hey, I need, I need one of them before I get out of here, them man. Them stupid. You can have three of these oh, motherfuckers. Oh, God. Hey, them I appreciate ass, you, my them, boy. Them stupid go. ass dogs will it's not so smell none of that shit right there. You understand? what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, man. Uh, I'm on TikTok now. Uh, I ain't really want to fuck with TikTok. I, th I thought TikTok was for degenerates and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, because the motherfucker, nah. the, the man, the man said they, they only look for 10 seconds of content, nigga. You see all these millions and all these thousands of views because you're only getting 10 seconds. I'm more into the uh, long play. You like the long form yeah. uh, stuff, um, um, content? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. How long you watch is, is yeah. mean in. Well, bro, everybody, I'll say this, bro. You got to appeal to all the audiences, bro. You yeah, can. for sure, for sure. So that's just me talking. Yeah. That's just me talking. Definitely. Uh, but I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. Uh, follow me on um, YouTube at Cruising with Prince. And also follow me on YouTube at Cruising with Prince World. Come by a, a fucking shirt before you get on your cruise and represent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this ain't going to be our last interview. You know what I'm saying? Thank God, God, man. True. Nah, this is definitely going to be a part two. We're definitely going to bump into each other again, I'm sure, bro. Maybe on a cruise next time. You never know, man. Next time we got to do one on a cruise, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That would be hard as fuck. But uh, yeah, man, this has been another episode of the Coca Truth. Thanks, everybody, for you know just showing support. Make sure you follow us on all social platforms. Y'all know what to do, it, man. Spotify, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all that, man. Coca Truth. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, oh, shit. Hold before on. Before you turn the camera off. Go ahead. This shot for everybody at Cold Cut Troop that, oh, made, God, it, that made it this far into the video. If you made it into this far in the video, type cheers in the comments. I'm going to drink this whole motherfucker for y'all, man. man. Appreciate y'all. Cruiser with Prince World, Cold Cut Troop. We run a fucking podcast where we run the Cruise World. Stop oh, playing with us. That's love, man. Hey, much success to you, bro. Keep going crazy. Keep putting your foot on these niggas' necks. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man. Hey, appreciate you, my guy. Hey, we'll catch you next time, man. Peace. Yeah. Hey!